Hello everyone, Yuki from Anthropology, and today we're going to lightweight a swing arm. Let's get into it. So we first imported our CAD and converted the geometries we are going to use in our lightweighting workflow into implicit bodies. Now our goal is to reduce the weight of the swing arm. So to start it off, we shelled out our swing arm and left the inner side open so we can add some ribbings in those areas. So we added a rib grid. Now, rather than just having ribs uniformly placed in our shelled part, we want to optimize these rib placements where it's most needed to maintain that structural integrity based on certain load conditions. So we thought of running a topology optimization because it will give us an idea of where material is kept after we get our result, which then gives us an idea of where the ribs should be placed. So to run our topology optimization, we have to first set it up. We started by meshing our part from surface to volume, then specified our material, which in this case, we're using aluminum 7075T6, which is one of our predefined materials you can find in NTOP. If you want, you can also define your own isotropic or orthotropic material as well. Next, we defined our boundary conditions. And then lastly, we added in our constraints, then ran our topology optimization. We ran two top ops, one with vertical loading and the other with moment loading to later combine and see where material is kept. Now, after those two top ops have run, we converted our results into an implicit body, smoothing out our surfaces, then Boolean unioned our results together, showing us where material is kept inside of our shelled body, giving us an idea of where our ribs should be placed. Now, with the top op result, we can use that to warp our rib grid, making the ribs denser where there is material and less dense where there isn't. And then we can lastly remove those ribs that are exceeding out of our shelled part using some Boolean operations to get our final part. Now, since this part is most likely going to be casted, we can also add draft angles to our ribs to make the part easy to remove after it has been cooled. To verify our light weighting, we ran a final revalidation to check for peak stress concentrations. This revalidation confirms our improvements, say within our allowable material limits, and we have a robust part in service. Now, why would you want to do this? Reduce mass, minimize manufacturing cost, minimize manufacturing time, all while still maintaining its structural integrity as a swing arm. When designing motorcycles, it is important to consider weight to not only improve fuel efficiency, but to enhance handling and maneuverability and to get up to that top speed. These similar lightweight techniques can be applied elsewhere on a bike, for example, maybe the frame of the bike, the bike seat, and more. I hope you got a good understanding of how you can lightweight a swing arm in topology. Thank you, and I hope you learned something new today.